guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica before i start the video i just want to go ahead and say thank you a huge thank you to all of my new subscribers i came on today and i hit 100 subscribers which i know that's not a lot for some people but honestly a hundred people looked at what i do looked at my channel and said yes yes i want to look at this <laughs> and you know, it's just really exciting. I love getting to talk to people. The reason I started this channel was so that I could talk to people that are as passionate about makeup as I am. And it just makes me so happy that people see what I'm doing and, you know, start conversations in the comments. And I just, I'm loving every minute of it. And I'm really excited about what I'm going to do going from here on out. So thank you so much for 100 subscribers. So for this video, I'm actually going to do the four or more tag. I saw this on Lauren May Beauty's channel and it was originally created by Emily Noel 83 Now the idea is to go through your collection, look through all of your items and see what you have four or more of the same product or like the same brand type product. So for me, the majority of this is like eyeshadows and lip products and I threw in a tool here because I think that technically counts as well. So let's just go ahead and jump into my products. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I did just put up an eyeshadow palette collection. I'll throw it up here or up here, whatever side it wants to go on. And I don't want to repeat myself too much because I do go over my entire eyeshadow collection except for my singles. I'm going to go ahead and film a single eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. Single. No. I'm going to go ahead and film a collection of all of my singles and show you, you know, what I've been able to create with them and exactly what brands they're all from. I actually created this look today using all of my singles. The mattes all came from the new Davina collection. This is beautiful. I really want to do a full review on this, so I'm going to take my time and actually get used to them and use them for a few looks. I've used them a couple of days in a row now and they're stunning. They're stunning. I love it. This is actually one more. It actually looks very similar to this navy kind of down here purpley in the corner. So I do have that one in another palette, but I did want to just keep them all together like this in one of my little palettes and I'm just loving it so far. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep an eye out for that video when it comes out. Hopefully it'll be out next week. So real quick for eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to go over just two brands that I have four or more of them. The first one is ColourPop. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six palettes from ColourPop. And I do think some of them are hit and miss. I really don't think you need to go out and buy every ColourPop palette no matter how affordable they are. Honestly, really the only ones that I would recommend you get if you're really interested in it and the colors call to you would be the My Little Pony palette. I'm not sure this is still available. It should still be. I picked it up quite a while after it was released. And then the, of course, the Yes Please palette. Mine is so disgusting looking. Gross. <laughs> um, I do have two of the limited edition palettes. I think one is worth it and one really isn't. The All I See is Magic palette I think is stunning. I do like that they went with a larger palette variety just to kind of break the pattern because I have like eight of these regular palettes but I do like that it's a bigger palette and if you don't know you can actually depot these super easily and I really appreciate that because I just tried depotting a Morphe palette It was a disaster. So I, I really appreciate that because you can pop these out easily, rearrange them in a way that makes more sense to you, or even like mix and match between palettes. I think that's a great idea as well. And since they gave you such a big palette to work with, if you wanted, you could depot the rest of the palettes and just kind of make your own perfect palette. Okay, so the next brand that I have four or more of their eyeshadow palettes, Natasha Denona. I have two of her little like five pan palettes. I have her medium sized palettes. One is the Lila palette and one is the Sunset palette. And then I have one of her large palettes. It is the green brown palette. And I think out of all of them, this one's my favorite. It is beautiful. It is mostly shimmers and I don't know if there's a chroma crystal in here, but there's only about like two or three mattes in here. And I do find, oh my God, we're okay. My heart just dropped. I do love this palette and I'm excited to try out more looks with it because I've only gotten to dig into it just a couple of times so far. Honestly, when it comes to Natasha Denona, I don't really recommend like these, these mid of the way palettes because I love the Sunset palette, but the Color Plop, Color Plop? <laughs> 
but the ColourPop Yes Please palette is more pigmented and you know they're still blendable so I really don't feel the need to have the Sunset palette and the Yes Please palette. What I really recommend if you want to try out Natasha Denona either get one of the little palettes like this like she has like 11 or 12 of these little five pan palettes or you know go big or go home if the colors really call to you so i am a green ass bitch and i love greens so this calls to me if you love green brown or purple or blue i would try out one of these because you could always like if you get it from sephora you can always return it if it ends up not working for you and i would recommend you know use that 100 you don't you don't want to take advantage of the return policies at a place like sephora or ulta but you know, you're spending a lot of money on palettes. You're spending a lot of money on Natasha Nonona on Pat McGrath. And if something doesn't work for you or you find it doesn't, or if you find that it just, you know, isn't your style or it doesn't fit in with your routine or anything, I feel like as long as you follow the timelines and you have your receipts and everything, it's 100% okay to return it because you're investing a lot of money on something that you really don't know, you know, when you purchase it, if it's going to work for you or not. All right, so the next product I have four or more of are the ColourPop super shock shadow so i keep them all in this little drawer and i have one limited edition one it is the birthday cake shadow what was it a couple months ago i think if you placed an order on color pop's birthday they gave you this one it's cute but i haven't really reached for it a whole lot that's the thing like when you look at these shadows and you look at the shades they're stunning and they look beautiful and they swatch amazing but the fact that they're all individuals like this you can't depot them you have to screw the top on you know tight enough or they're gonna dry out they're really high maintenance i did place an order i have a haul that i did go over these with just a couple of weeks ago but i am trying to get myself to reach for these more because they really are stunning and i am trying to get more into color especially when it comes to purples i did buy quite a few purple super shock shadows and i also got this stunning green shade right here it's got some beautiful reflex in there. So I know I have these in my collection. I don't reach for them as much as I should, but I am working on fixing that too. And overall for those, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10 super shock shadows. Let's go ahead and move on to the last color pop thing. I have four or more of their lips. <laughs> so this is, it was a little, um, What's the word? It was a candle that I um, burnt as much as I could and then when I got to the bottom I like carved out the rest of the candle that was stuck in there, washed it out, and now I use this. It's the perfect size for liquid lipsticks. And I have a candle actually back here on that thing back there that's almost done too so I can't wait to clean that one out and make another one of these because I do have quite a few more liquid lipsticks that don't fit in any of my other like storage sections. I do have a good mix in here of the um, the ultra matte formula the ultra satin I don't have any of the blotted lip and I only have like one or two of the glosses but I will say their glosses are fantastic they are the best gloss that you can find you know under ten dollars and they really do last you a long time I store all of mine you know upside down like this so you do see some product kind of seeping down towards them so I would just mix that up every now and then um, I do like their ultra matte formula it does stay still throughout your day no matter what you do to it you can feel it though that's the thing. It will last you all day and it will look nice, but you'll spend the whole day knowing you're wearing a lipstick as opposed to, you know, another liquid lip that'll stay put all day, but you, you can't really feel it, you know? So I do recommend the Ultra Matte and the, the Ultra Glossy formulas. I would say wait for a sale. I think now that I'm filming this, I don't know if it's still on, but they have like a buy two, get one free sale. I would jump on that, you know, 100% as I obviously have. <laughs> The next thing I have four more of that's also a lip product are the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. So I bought his packet of minis back when he first released them. So it came with six mini liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Celebrity Skin, Gemini, Leo, Skin Tight, Androgyny, Posh Spice, and Rose Matter. I have to say, I think this is my favorite liquid lipstick formula because it goes on super opaque. It dries down, but it dries down comfortably. I have a couple other liquid lipstick formulas where they do dry down and last all day, like the ColourPop, but they feel horrendous. And it's like it bugs you to wear that throughout the day. This, I put it on, you do one layer, you can do a thin layer too. It lasts throughout the day, you don't need to touch it up. Like I rarely touch these up unless I'm wearing like a really 
dark color and it's comfortable and you can eat with this too as long as it's not too oily so i do enjoy these i actually just picked up from his new collection the mini set of all his red lipsticks so i am really excited to try that out along with the new palette the blood sugar palette so i believe according to the tracking information that package should be here tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and film hopefully a first impression review well not a, a full review but a first impression using the palette because I'm really excited for that palette. The next item that I have four or more of are, oh, don't drop them, are the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. I, I like this formula. I don't like it as much as the Jeffree Star, but it is a good formula. The only thing is that when it comes to shades, it's hit and miss. There was a corally kind of shade, Coral Corruption, this one, it's not that great. It's not really opaque, it doesn't last throughout the day. You have to put on like three layers just to get it to show up like this color on your lips. Not my favorite, but the Rebel Rose shade, this is stunning and it looks beautiful and it lasts not a full day. Like I do have to touch this up a couple of times throughout the day, but it's a beautiful, like deep nude color. I love it. Another shade that I love is the Nudie Patootie, which is like a really light nudie color. That one's beautiful. And then I also really like the shade So Noir Cool. It's the, it's the black. I really want to get out of my comfort zone because I love, love like black lipstick, but I have no idea how to wear it like in an approachable way, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to put on black lipstick with a look, like with the rest of the look. I don't know how to like work a look around black lipstick. There we go. And I really want to get more wearable looks at a black lipstick because god i just love how it looks like yeah exciting okay so we have one more lip product and then we get into glitter so so the last product that i have four or more of are the physician's formula healthy lips these are stunning they don't dry down they're not a traditional liquid lipstick um, so you do kind of feel them on your lips. It's a little similar to the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Formula, but these are more opaque and they're a little bit more comfortable than those. They do transfer a little bit. Um, so if you're going to eat a meal or if you're going to be drinking coffee, like that's my, that's my biggest complaint is that whenever I wear a lip, I'm constantly drinking coffee. So if my lipstick is going to be all over the coffee cup, then why did I put the lipstick on? This will transfer a little bit, but I will say this reapplies beautifully. Because there are some products where you wear it and it wears off and then you go to reapply it and the second layer doesn't go on well and you can tell like, oh, there's like old lipstick over here and you got new lipstick over here. No, these apply, reapply beautifully and they have so many great colors and my favorite like red lipstick is the one right here it's called fight free reticles it's stunning god and the other great red shade that they have is red restorative effects like beautiful and then they have a really pretty like rosy color that is called dose of rose it's the one right here in the middle I recommend these 110%. They're stunning. I think they're between like $7 and $12, which I think is totally worth it. I had to buy mine on their website because my drug stores are so behind. Like, that's, the, that's my one complaint. Like, I love drugstore makeup and I love looking and trying to find cheaper options, but all my local drug stores are so behind and they never have anything. And the last product that I have four or more of are the Stila Glitter and Glows. One of these is a shimmer and glow. I don't think that one should count. There we go. These, <laughs> the Stila Glitter and Glows. These are stunning. I would really recommend getting, stop falling. I would really recommend getting one of the like little mini packs because if I'm being honest, I'm probably never gonna use up a full one of these. But I will use up, ah! I dropped it. But I do have a much higher chance of using up one of these minis. And they do have two, I don't know if this set is still available, but when I got this, there were two different sets available with different colors. And I think they actually came out with a new three shade one that I talked about in one of my past weekly wishlets or washouts. I love these so much. The only thing, you definitely have to do your eyes first before you put these on, because if you do foundation, powder, everything, and then put these on, you're gonna get glitter all over the place. 
but if you do your eyes first do a thin layer pat it in with your finger and then just wipe off any excess you're good to go it's beautiful so I have this little set right here that has Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, and Smoky Storm. I also have Rose Gold Retro, Inna Ferenz, Gold Goddess, and Perlina. Beautiful. I don't think you need this many unless you're like, unless you live for glitter, but they, they are stunning. They are stunning and they are easy and quick. Like this is the best way I've found to apply glitter, hands down. Hey guys, just kidding, editing Monica here. I forgot to talk about my beauty blenders. Excuse me, I know that these are disgusting looking, but I am washing everything today. I just got off of work, bear with me. But I do have five of the original beauty blenders, and I do think if you can get them on sale, that they are worth it. I really like this little nude colored one. It doesn't make it look as gross as the rest of them are. These like bright colored ones I got in a set that was on sale at Sephora.com. I got like almost half off on those, and then they came bundled with three of them so it was fairly cheap for those and then this is actually the first one I ever got the black beauty blender and I do like it but I think this is the only one that I've bought full price and I probably wouldn't buy any of them full price again but I do enjoy them okay so that is everything that I have four or more of what do you have four or more of let me know down below I would love to start a conversation about which products that you really feel you kind of not have that collective mentality, but that you love so much, you want more of it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you like it and if you want to see any more kind of tags like this in the future. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!